And hopefully this shit works on this goddamn time. So let's skip all the bullshit. And I think it's time to go to uh, Miss Lady with the disclaimer. Welcome to the This Is Matt Network, where we explore many opinions and topics. Please note that the views and opinions expressed in this podcast are those of the host and guests and do not necessarily reflect the views of our sponsors or affiliates. We encourage you to do your own research and form your own opinions. Please enjoy the show. Uh Uh-huh. Yo, hit them with the yo. I eat Cheerios. I love Oreos. I hang with the pros. I create my flows. And the wind blows. I got 10 toes. Hey. They ain't fucking with me right now. What's going on, man? Welcome to Talk Your Talk Podcast. I be your host. Keon Mac, man, a.k.a. This is Mac. Chilling with the boy, Terry, man. Terry, what's going on, man? I'm maintaining, man. Trying to stay above it. Trying to stay above the water. Making the way that we can. Temporary layoffs. Looking ass, man. You be waiting for that part to come out, don't you? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> you don't even got <laughs> that's your part that's what that's what the family point at you and you go temporary layoff <laughs> struggling and surviving <laughs> temporary layoff <laughs> no nah, man wrong part <laughs> hey what the fuck nigga crazy as a bitch man but Welcome back to the show, y'all. It's another week, episode 11 in this bitch. That's what we got going on here. Episode fucking 11, yo. This is crazy. And this will actually take us over 30 hours of content that we have. That's right, y'all. You know, uh, currently we at 29 hours and 55 minutes. So in... in Two more minutes, two and two minutes and ten seconds, will actually make the thirty-hour mark. That's a whole lot of content, man. So y'all make sure y'all check us out on Facebook. Talk your talk on Facebook. Talk dash yo dash talk. We had thirteen hundred followers already. And these are real followers. These ain't people who say, oh, since you're my boy, I'm a father. No, nah, these are people who go, yo, I like your content. We following you. And I'm pretty proud of that, man. We got 1,300, yo. I don't know 1,300 people, nigga. Huh? You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm glad that 1,300 people know us. That's yes. the good part. We That's the good part. That's the separation part right there of, of regular people and people like us, nigga. Let me let me not get too big headed, man. I mean, <laughs> let me not do that. But we got a lot of shit coming up for y'all, man. We got P Diddy still in the fucking news, yo. Still in the fucking news. Uh, Ti, we got Ti in this bitch. Uh, not here, but. You know, he's on news. Him and his uh, catfish mouth son, uh, King. Uh, Blueface mom, she want to create a, a OnlyFans account. <laughs> uh, Buster. <That's> <laughs> uh, Jamie Foxx is in the news. Uh, Nar- uh, Nardo Wick. Uh, Lenny Kravitz. Uh, what else we got? Did I say Jonathan Majors already? I think so. Uh, Kevin Gates. AZ. Uh, shit, man. Beyonce. We got a couple of things for y'all, man. Who's your dumbest criminals coming up? You know what I mean? Uh, we also got Indies Urban News. And then we got the wrap up for y'all, man. Uh, depending on the pad preview. So y'all stay tuned, man. We'll be with you in a sec.
Yo, yo, and we back like that. Like a nigga never laugh. Ooh, I hate to smell your breath. Well, you make me never laugh, see. What? You done fucked up my flow, my nigga. Now I'ma have to prop, prop, and pull the trigger. Get him, MC Shan. MC Shan. Get him, man. I be goddamn. That's that crack ass rap, nigga. What you dumb about, nigga? Shit. I done fucked a bitch. Huh. Until a nigga got rich. Uh. And then I had me a itch. I said, what the fuck you done gave me, bitch? Yeah. Mimi had to kill her. Went to jail. Now I'm a motherfucking thriller. You feel me, nigga? <laughs> You nigga, what are you? You shot a bullet at your gun, son. <laughs> it always be the niggas with no teeth in their mouth. You understand me, nigga? All in your face, mean mugging and shit. Sit your dumb ass down. Hit me in your face because I can't. Shit your dumb ass down, man. Uh, it's one thing that I'm missing, yo. The fucking horns, man. I can't even do the. Bah, 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 bah. I can't even do that today. I forgot to put those on, man. I, 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 God damn it. Son of a bitch. That's my fault, y'all. I got to get it back, though. I, I ain't got the gunshots on here. No I, I got to get a lot of shit back on the smart pass. But anyway, man, let's go ahead on the ditty, yo. Let's go ahead and move it along. As y'all know, P. Diddy, he was, uh, they're, they're done with him with the school that he was partnering with in, in Harlem. Uh, <laughs> they, they basically say they were done with him. They didn't want nothing to do with him anymore. Uh, he, he needs to go handle the personal issues he got going on for himself. Uh, who at Macy's? Stop fucking with Diddy. Uh, Dior, stop fucking with Diddy. Mm. Uh, was it yeah, anyone step else? down from Revolt. Yeah, step down from Revolt. Uh, Revolt yeah. said uh, they didn't want anything to, you know, uh, make people seem a certain type of way about Revolt because Diddy uh, is the CEO of Revolt TV. Um, once again, I... I never seen Revolt TV on TV. I just seen the logo in case the Breakfast Club was on it or some shit like that. But I, I don't. Is that an actual channel or is it just a content uh, production or, or something like that? I always figured it was a channel, like a whole little program, I guess. Yeah, because I know Drink Champs is under Revolt TV. That's one thing. Now that Diddy stepped away, I wonder what's, what what can possibly happen here. Because for him to step away, I'm pretty sure that was him, unless they got like a board. But I I don't know. I I, I think that is a smart thing to do. Yeah. Because it's like, look, I don't want y'all to. Toxic I don't right want now. this to yeah. I don't want this to damage what we got going on. Diddy plan is to beat this shit, bounce back, and then go back and take over what he had. You know because revolt that's his. So he has to represent. Mm-hmm. That. You're not going to hear him go. Hey, I'm stepping back from Bad Boy. That's not going to happen because if you think Bad Boy, you're going to think Diddy anyway. Mm-hmm. Luckily for Ciroc. Ciroc pulled back before all of these allegations came out. They pulled back a while ago. And I told you, when they pulled back, I I knew something was coming, y'all. And, and this is, I, I say that shit every week, but I'm seeing it, you know, unravel. And it's like, yo, I seen this coming. When your biggest, your biggest asset is saying, we're done with you. Ciroc, that that you know the the vodka um, mm-hmm. brand, they say yo we mm-hmm. done. All you doing is, is is saying Ciroc this Ciroc that. You're not doing any of the other shit. So yeah, fuck out of here. And he got the fuck out of there. 
And and that's when Diddy was no longer a billionaire anymore. I think that took like three, four hundred million off of him. It took a lot off of him. And now with this Macy's deal, that's out the window. Dior out the window. I, I'm pretty sure that's another, you know, 150, 200 million, maybe. Mm. So I really think Diddy is is he's still a rich man. Let me he correct that. He, he's still a wealthy man. Let me correct that. With his, with his, with his assets and things of that right. nature. I'm sure he's still a billionaire or it still be if he sell off some things. Yeah. And and let's not mention the money that he possibly how much he possibly gave to others in uh settlements. So mm-hmm. I I'll take it. He he's probably around that four hundred million mark now. Which, like I said, is still great. Yeah. But when you was touching a billion, that's like a whoa. Like Jay Z right now, what he's worth? Uh, two point five billion. If that yeah. drop, if that dropped down to four hundred million, yes, he would be fucked up. Yeah. As fucked up as that is to say, but yeah, he would be fucked up right now. He'd be like, hell no. Nah. The fuck yeah. just happened here? Uh, imagine it happened to Kanye last earlier this year or so. Uh, yeah. But Kanye put his shit out there. He, he made the world just dislike him. Yeah, but, you know, that was his opinion. And, and I didn't see no hate in it, but, yeah. I, I didn't see any hate in it either. He just have a hard time explaining what he's trying to say. You know, and then he he makes it look like he want the controversy. That's the part I don't like. You know, he'll he'll start drinking and start laughing with them and stuff. And and as he's laughing, I'm looking at his face like I'm a good judge of character. I'm looking at his face and he's making that look like let me think of something else crazy to say. Like, he kept making those faces, man. I'm like, Kanye, don't do it. He kept sipping the drink, acting like he was fucked up. He won't even puff in the blunt, acting like he was high. I was like, come on, Kanye. I ain't even like the way Kanye held the blunt. <laughs> it just looks uh, stupid, probably, yo. He probably ain't a weed smoker. <laughs> <laughs> and he's sitting there trying to smoke or pretending to smoke. Hey, he wanted to fit in. And that's his problem. Kanye shouldn't have to fit in. The Kanye from, from, from you know, old school Kanye. Not not the polo shirt where I'm talking about when he started putting it. Yeah. I'm, I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah. I mean, that Kanye. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can give it to that one right there. The be- yeah. That was the yeah. beginning. Yeah. Uh, from, remember everybody thought that was Lauren Hill. <laughs> That I thought it was. That Lord here, right there. That ain't no goddamn Lord here. That is Lord. Shut up, Lord. Ain't nothing worse than when a bunch of black people know they right. That is Lord. How you gonna tell me? Hey, I so sure thought it was. Exactly, nigga. That's how it always happened. But uh, yeah, man, Diddy, man, he he just been in deep shit after deep shit. They didn't pull my man Aaron Hall in this shit and. Uh, I miss you. I'm talking to you, baby. That was my shit, y'all. We used to talk and laugh all night, girl. What happened to those days? Did they all just fade away? I ain't gonna hit y'all with the notes like that. I mean, yes. I, got, I, got, I ain't drank no tea this morning. If I did that the with some lemon, lemon. yeah, <laughs> hell no. <nah. laughs> but you hit uh, it with MC Shan. <laughs> hit it with it <laughs> with MC Shan, y'all. The MC Shans, man. But yeah, man, they got Aaron Hall involved in this shit, yo. And you know they're playing his records back of him talking about forcing a bitch to. Fuck and she can scream all she want and he gonna cover her mouth and it just sounded like he was describing a fucking sexual assault within itself. 
<laughs> you know, it it, it was <laughs> dude. <laughs> you know, it's top, man. <laughs> they getting at him, boy. I'm telling you, Rick. I'm, I'm telling you, goddamn Robert Kelly is sitting down on the on the bed. He, he's patting on the on the top bunk. I got room for you, big dog. Come on, Iron Hall. Let's, <laughs> let's have a talk. They gonna go in there like, nigga, you already stole my staff. <laughs> <laughs> Man, R. Kelly wrote for the motherfuckers for that whole guy group. R. Kelly and Iron Hall, they they wrote for that shit. So I give Iron his shit though. But yeah, man, I would love to know like the deep story of that shit, like. Man, if, if you just start exposing the nineties, you know, like I know I know CNN got a show kind of like that, like uh what is it called? All really, about the nineties or some shit. Really if you expose the sixties, seventies, and eighties and nineties. I mean, yeah, but the nineties <laughs> the nineties all is like it's it's almost like the golden age. Like the the age that just had Everything in it, everything that we're seeing now, I think was created in the 90s. Like the birth of it was in the 90s. Whether it's the iPhone or whatever, I, I believe it was the, the start because, you know, cell phones start getting a little smaller, start getting more uh, mobile. You know, like it was it was introducing a whole lot of, of things, you know, the CDs came into play and. You know, it was transitioning away from tapes and, and stuff like that, DVDs. And, you know, it, it was just the the whole, the big point we, that we're at now. I, I think the 90s were the birth of that. So if you I put it like this, if you had the luxury to live through the 90s and make it out, congratulations. Because that was a hell of a time. It was some good fucking times. Yeah. And in fact, it was good times that we really didn't see as bad times until we look back at it and go, yo. Yeah, think about it. You look back at it and go, yo, we, we could have got killed that night for real. You think about it. You know what I'm saying? You start talking yeah. like that. Like, the fuck was we thinking, man? The niggas could have yeah. shot our ass. We was drunk as a bitch doing that type of shit. So, yeah. Some fucked up shit, but yeah, they should have a show where they expose like the industry, the rap industry, the music industry, the entertainment industry, and all that. Because you still you got the whole R. Kelly shit, you got the whole death of Tupac and Biggie, and, and the controversy that goes with that. Uh, you, you got uh, yeah. um, Easy E passing with the AIDS and and the HIV AIDS outbreak happening, uh, the Rodney King shit that went down. Yo, it, it was a, it, like, you know, and, and not to, you know, I'm pretty sure you can go deeper, like you said, in the 60s and stuff. You had the Martin Luther King, the Malcolm X shooting, and the Ku Klux Klans was still out. So, yeah, that shit can probably go even deeper. But in the 90s, I feel like that was a mixture of everything. Like, it was putting a little bit of the 60s and a little bit of the 80s, a little bit of the 90s, and trying to create what... 2000 is going to be so the shit that we see now that's that's our creation man that's us we we, we was able to create a black president you know so it'd it be little shit like that that shines through that you man i'm high as a bitch um what the fuck are we okay <laughs> we're off that we were talking about diddy and shit but yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> what, what you got to say about that? The whole tangent, buddy. Right, I, I'm, I'm. That's my bad, y'all. I'm glad I caught myself. Uh, what you got on this Diddy take, man? Yeah, he bounced back. Yeah, because yeah. I see him bouncing back. Okay, you know what uh, I mean. I don't really see see this hurting him as bad as it, it can't be as bad as anything else in the past thirty years he's been going through. He'll weather this storm. It's probably going to take a little bit longer. This is about as serious as he's ever been. But, yeah, man. Diddy and Brown's back. I don't think Diddy went yeah. through something this bad. Except for the, the That's Shine what I said. case. It ain't never been this. 
Except for, except for the shine case. Except for him and shine and all that shit. They really could have had yeah. his ass that night. But uh, I don't see him bouncing back to the daddy we know, you know, uh, a year or two ago. I don't I don't think he's going to bounce back to that guy. Like I said, if he do bounce back out of this shit, once all the allegations and shit come out from whomever else is going to speak up. Uh, what did he, what, 52, 53 right now? Oh, shit, you're looking 62, 63 right now after they got down that money. Uh. After that settlement, buddy. Nigga look 64, yeah, 65, see. nigga. Ain't never seen more gray hair pop up on a nigga in, in less than a week. Yeah, nigga damn. super gray, too. That nigga had all black when he was at the when he was accepting that award. God damn it! Uh, uh what, a couple of months ago, he was starting to look like, look like MC Shane's little that, brother. That nigga starting to look like he got an Uncle Phil beard now. That nigga beard look like Uncle Phil's now, man. Shit look like Grady from Sanford and Son beard right now. That nigga yeah, looking old. Got all Grady coming through. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying, yo. His bell's back might be a little bigger than Dame Dash. Yeah. That's all I get. I, I don't see it hurting him. Like, he's about, what, 52, 53 right now? I'll give him to about 55, 56. he would be in bounce all the way back. Yeah, you can cancel that. Nah. You can cancel that, home boy. Uh, yeah, he still got connects out here. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And those connects is turning on his ass right now. Yeah, that's for the moment. <laughs> all right. Money, some... money, all right. money fixes everything. And all all right. And, and watch later on in, 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 the, in the weeks and months to come. You're you going to hear, you're going to be out there like, man, such and such a bitch ass nigga for that. Why? Because it's going to be niggas you, that, that was his connect starting to say, no, he did this and he did that. Watch. It's gonna happen within the next few see, years. Within the oh, next I, few years, I put it like that. I can see it. I can see it happen. But you know, like I said, this is the worst he's ever weathered. So you know, I give him a couple years. He ain't got nobody to take the fall this time. Shine ain't there. Can't take. Yeah, the fall. He don't need nobody to take the fall. You're right, because he's gonna take this motherfucker himself. Uh, <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, he ain't got no choice. They already pursued you. Yeah. Even if the shit ain't true, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be some part of it that motherfuckers going to be like, yeah, this nigga ain't shit. Oh, man. What else we got in headlines and uh, hot topics? Uh, Jonathan Majors going through the same thing uh, this week. marks the first week of his trial. Shout out to Jonathan Majors. Yeah, man. Jonathan Majors is a good guy. You know, in my opinion. Uh, I don't know if these allegations are true or false. Uh, I'm just playing I'm gonna by go on ear. the record and say they're not. They're not true. I'm gonna go on the record and say I'm not sure. I'm not sure at yeah. all. Um, I'm sure she's lying. Um, I'm. Well, you got a little record on you there, buddy. Uh, yeah. I, I assume you're gonna assume she's lying with everyone who has a case mm-hmm. of like this, but. Me, I'm just playing it by ear. Uh, just Jonathan, no evidence in this case. Jonathan Majors mm. uh, from from the backup, uh, not backup, the the this back scenes of uh, what am I trying to say? The backstage or some shit like that. <laughs> Whatever the scenes at the backstage, <laughs> the scenes, the backstage, <laughs> and all that shit, the footage and everything. And he seems like a good guy. You know, he seems like he's happy where he's at and, and, and he's happy that he made it to, you know, that level, you know, especially with Marvel. You know, that's a big thing. When you're the man that Marvel's going to center everything around and, and you're not wearing any type of, you know, green, you know, like he's not like how, what you call it, played Thanos. Who was that who played Thanos again? Yeah. I forget his name. Uh. Uh, but Josh yeah, Brolin. yeah, you know, he's not Josh Brolin, you know, because he, he covered himself, you know, it was CGI and all that shit. So it was more like his voice, but you can kind of see it in his face as well. 
but this guy, you know, Jonathan Majors, he's playing Kane the Conqueror, and he's showing his full face, like everything. So you're becoming a public figure, like a big public figure. You know, once someone known you as as a classic superhero, like you're in there, buddy. Mm-hmm. You know, and Jonathan Majors, he's so young. I think after this, he definitely can make other names, you know, other characters out there that he play, uh, uh, you know, just as big. So, so you you don't think he did this, huh? No, I don't. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, uh, hopefully he did. You know, for the sake of, of of everyone, hopefully he didn't do that. But if he did do it, then. Just like Diddy, homeboy, you you have to have to bite that pie. Take every fucking bite. Yeah, I mean, I'm not. I don't believe Diddy did it. Oh my god, we we know I that. Sir. Proof. We know all that. After right ten now. years, I don't see the proof even there. We we. But we, we I digress. I bet you do. God damn it. Uh, <laughs> what else we got? Hot top. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Here's another sexual assault or abuse or whatever the fuck you want to call it again. Jamie Foxx. Mm-hmm. Jamie Years Foxx. Later. Uh, back in 2000, later. Back in 2015, a young lady claimed that Jamie Foxx uh, sexually assaulted her uh, while on the rooftop of a bar in New York City. That was back in 2015. Jamie Foxx has yeah. denied any of this, saying that it's it's not true. And his attorney actually said that the young lady tried to, you know, uh, you know, throw charges at him. Same type of claims, you know, somewhat similar to what she's claiming now, the sexual assault and all that stuff. And they're going to try to take this shit on the court, man. <sighs> What is going on, man? Uh, I know everybody's you don't, trying to get these money, Greg. That's all it is, man. I know you don't I'm believe this. I'm going to and say I don't believe it. There you go. 0 and 3. I'm waiting to all, I'm waiting to all the facts come out. I'm going on record saying I don't believe it. Mm. I, I'm going to say I, I don't know. I'm not gonna say I don't believe it, but I'm gonna wait till the facts come out. I'm gonna say I don't know, yeah. and then I'm gonna wait till the facts come out for me to make that decision. Right. I'm gonna say I don't believe it. Okay. I'm going on record saying it. I'm yeah. riding with you, Jamie. You riding with her. You riding with three niggas already, nigga. You ain't riding with no mm-hmm. bitch today. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't believe these niggas. Ah, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm, I don't want to sound insensitive to. Uh, the women out there who've been sexually assaulted, raped. Mm, mm, mm. It's just the time of these things, timing of these things, or whatever. I personally don't believe it. Mm. Now, if they did do it, you know what I'm saying? God mm. need to punish them the way they need to be punished. Hey, go, other than hey, that, go I don't that, believe. hey, go with that little five second. If they did do it, you know, yeah, yeah, punish That's them it. and this and that. But back to this. I don't think he did it. Yeah. Fuck them bitches. They nope. always lying. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, could it be possible that he did do it? And since they, you know, since shit going on right now and people hearing about this and that, because you have some females or I would say some people in general that's just that petty that something mm-hmm. could have occurred, but when they think it'll benefit them that it yeah. actually happened, then, you know, cause, cause there is a chance that this could have had, that all three of these things could have happened with Jonathan Major, Jamie Foxx mm-hmm. and with uh, Diddy, you know, but why now? I, I get that part. I get the frustration of that part. Why now? But I don't think that's the important part. The important part is, did it happen? The why now part is more, it's like, of course we know why. They they want money. We know that. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But that that's just like somebody, you know, just if you got with somebody, if you got something that's going to give you money and someone reminds you that you got it, 
Yeah. I think it's a 50-50 chance motherfuckers will take advantage of that. Yeah. You know, I mean... I mean, like, niggas, no, I don't see that happen, but I do see some niggas would do that. If Beyonce came and just fucked the shit out of you and left you and you fell in love, but she, you can't contact her no damn more, some motherfuckers want her attention that bad that they would go, she raped me. Mm-hmm. She sexual assaulted me. Just so they can see her in court and go, hi, we can drop all of this if you just come on home. You know, so mm-hmm. hate to use Beyonce as a reference, but that that's just one of those things, man. It's like you have females and males like that that I think would do shit like that. You know, we already got males trying to hit females with child support. Mm-hmm. You know, and it where I come true. from, where I come from, that that wasn't you, you just didn't do that. But I understand, right. you know, I understand. It's like, shit, they do it to us. Why not do it to them? But I see it coming from, you know, men who were just the the, the husband of a female who was popular. You know, like, yeah. or, or, or what about, like, with Mary J? And how oh, much she had to pay him? Yeah, good. <laughs> Hey, we in equal society. Hey, shoot. I don't see a problem with it. Of course you don't, because it's a female. What's the problem? Nah, it ain't even about that. I know, but either way, you still like the, you're still like oh and four with a female. So I'm, I'm just yeah. Saying, yeah. This I don't I don't have I don't see a problem. I know you know what you're saying okay. right now. You can be paying child or women shouldn't have free child support. No, I don't see a problem with it either. I'm just saying it's it's. I knew I'm saying, you would. I knew said, you definitely when wouldn't you say it like. But when you say it like, oh well, well, men don't do that, and we where I'm from, we don't do that. No, I. Well, but what did I say? I said that, and I say, but I understand why they do that today. Yeah. Yeah. You you forgot about that part? No, I, I know what I said, but that's how it was back. It was a lot of shit we did back in the nineties that you just didn't do. Yeah, I mean, but the way you said it, uh, you owe for four and four and nine, man. No, I'm saying this that because it, it, no, I'm saying that because I knew you would love. That. I knew you would agree with that. Oh, yeah. that's why I said that, and that fell in line with you know everything else you <laughs> you you disagreed about the females with. Moving on to Kiki Palmer, ladies and gentlemen, uh, but still shots. How do you feel about that, Morris? You say who? Kiki Palmer with still shots of her of her uh, ex boyfriend uh, beating her up. How do you feel about that? Okay. I didn't see the video. Since you didn't see it, do you believe it or? Uh... I, I like I said, <laughs> I believe the video when I see it. <laughs> still shots can show anything. <laughs> so she could have been, you know, tapering with that shit, right? Yeah. I'm, that's a tapering, tampering with it, right? She could be, you know. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yes. <laughs> Anything to make a man look bad, too. Now, this society, yeah. Oh, they God. demonize men in this society, especially no. black men. Mm-hmm. So I'm reserving all judgments until I see the tape. I don't want to see no steel shots. You can make that look any out of way. Nigga, you talking in a fishbowl or something? Hello? You hear me? I said, are you talking in a fishbowl? You went echoing like a motherfucker. Well, not echoing, but like... I had to do some walking around. Okay, all right. Sit your ass down. We got a show to do, motherfucker. Um, We got T.I. So where we at mm-hmm. now? So, so basically, we're moving on to the uh, celebrity files, ladies and gentlemen. We have T.I. and his ugly ass son, uh, Catfish Mouth King. <laughs> duck Mouth. Oh my God, man. Howard the Duck Mouth. <laughs> so they basically got into an argument at the Falcons game, and I guess they were in the skybox somewhere, and 
you know, uh, looking at the game and because it didn't look like they were outside anywhere or sitting with others. It looked like they just had like a booth to themselves and, you know, had the catering going on and the buffet and all that shit. Um, at this point, King had, I believe it was King with who was recording the fight because it was right there. Like he was holding it. And then, you know, it, it always kept that bottom angle. So I, I do think it was King recording it while he's arguing with uh, his dad and fussing with his mom. Uh, the part that tripped me off is when he was like, how you going to let people talk to me like that? <laughs> how you going to let him talk to me like something like that? She was saying like, how you going to let people talk to me like that? Like, nigga, that's your father, nigga. What are you talking about, people? Well, talking like, to Tiny. What time like is Tiny going to be able to do something <laughs> to stop me from talking to your ass or smacking you across your head? <laughs> like, what the fuck? T.I. Yeah. and Tiny, why haven't y'all disowned this little nigga yet? <sighs> that nigga been crying since episode four of some shit like that, so... <laughs> I, I don't I I really don't see where he got this this attitude. You can tell he wants to be popular. You can tell well, he wants to know something. They he, named him King. They did name him King. <laughs> you know, um I'm I'm pretty sure T.I. would take that back and probably switch it around and give that to the oldest or something like that, but uh <laughs> That's why. Why haven't his oldest brother whooped his ass? Like, nigga, sit your dumb ass down. He probably ain't about that. The oldest brother <laughs> seemed like he's more like just chill, like laid back. Like, yeah, that's why I'm like, damn. Why can't you be like him? Yeah. I, I, hold on. How many kids? T. I I got about six. I don't know. You asking the wrong nigga. You got King. You got so many. You got somewhere around there, uh, but either yeah, way, yeah. nigga, why? Why can't he be quiet? I think it's and five play his six. part like the rest of them. Because he needed to be out there. He ain't got nothing else going for himself. He's a young nigga who, you know, the only talent he probably... How do y'all niggas ain't got nothing going for yourself? And your daddy put y'all all in mm-hmm. position. I'm, pr- I'm pretty y'all sure Y'all can't find nothing no, to do? He don't have it. He can't play basketball. You nah, know, look at you him. Can he can sit up here and start dumb. a business. He don't know how to do all that. His father's rich. He, he, he can learn. You don't know how to do all that. I don't want to hear all that. <laughs> Think around wish, here. I wish I had rich. Somebody y'all better respect my people. <laughs> he said he's standing on business, right? <laughs> I stand on my business. Stand, stand on business. Stand I'm standing on my business. Like, what? Get the fuck out of here, nigga. What are you talking about? Nigga said he stayed in a band, though. Oh, my God. You was around the band, though. <laughs> when, when, uh, I heard, when I heard T.I. say, hey, what you talking about? <laughs> yeah, you talking back. Oh, man. And, <laughs> and so dumb ass down. The way he said it was like, Oh, you squaring up? Like, what what, what you what you talking about? Like, what what the fuck you ready? Man. Like, man, when I heard that, I knew the altercation was about to start. And That's like you can hear it, it sound like he he kind of you know Ti jacked the uh, king up like and he said Nick, you can't what? do shit with me ain't nothing you can do with me <laughs> mm-hmm. but the whole time he's recording all this shit so to me uh, what what do you what, what do you feel about this shit man do you think that's something that I- he knew did did he want to record the argument, but did, wasn't sure it was going to get that far, or did he already you know, know this how is how like a go? pattern? You know, when I say kids is doing this, it was like you know, like well, a few months ago Romeo was doing it with P. Car, uh, Fifty Cent son was doing it with him. And it's like now you got T.I. son, it's like embarrassing the whole family. All three of y'all fathers done laid down a path for y'all to sit here and make it in life. And all y'all can do is complain. So I put him in that same boat. 
You 19 years old crying, talking about you stand on business. And, nigga, who like, who literally want to go back to the hood or even to the hood, nigga, when you live in a, come on, man. I think that nigga uh, look like a real life Muppet, baby. He do. He look like something off of Sesame Street. Like the real Rosto. life version of it. He, he look, he got the he mouth. like his name is Rosto. That nigga got a mouth of a puppet. That's puppet mouth. King puppet mouth. Let me tell you what I feel about this shit. I've been paying attention. T.I. got this new podcast or show out, and him and King is on it, and him and King talked it out, and I found out earlier today that him and King have a new song that's about to drop. If you ask me, this shit was a publicity stunt. That's what I'm sticking with. It's a publicity stunt. You know, because it... it uh, it might have a little bit of realness to it, but I, I really think it's a publicity stunt. Either that or they're taking the motivation from, you know, all the drama going around. Uh, it, but the the crazy part is people like people like him, mm-hmm. just like they like six and nine. Yeah, you know, it, it's just shit like that, man. We don't. <laughs> I don't need, see it, man. We don't need more people. I hope they're not. I hope the people, the rap game, ain't stupid enough to do it. Because just the way he mm-hmm. look, I can't take him serious. Whatever rap shit he got going on Mm-mm. I'm just yeah. not gonna be able to do us a favor and focus on your son Damani and then all Rat that career. nigga did was cry on T.I. Uh, and Tiny or Tiny and T.I. whatever the fuck the show name was called but he, he used to cry every fucking episode every time he didn't get his way then they got a clip going around him crying because you know he <laughs> He hate feeling controlled and all that type of stuff going on, and and you know, it, it Nigga, somebody kinda... need to control your little young dumb ass. <sighs> it, it's just you can't control crazy. yourself, right? I'm just sitting there like, yo, man, I I don't really want to hear anything he's talking about. All for the strength of T- nothing. All for the strength of Ti, I probably give it a listen. Only I, off the strength. I can't even do it off of the strength of T.I. I can do Your it. Your daddy now. can't save you on this one. I'm not looking for it to be saved. I'm just looking to see what Tip talking about. That's it, man. Like, I'm sorry, man. Uh, so that's it for Tip and goddamn Muppet Mouth. <laughs> mm. So so they done made up already. And all grow, grow the fuck up. <laughs> Please. Nigga. T.I., Nigga, start smacking this nigga in his <laughs> mouth. I don't even hesitate. Uh, drop his ass off in the hood. What are you when we get to talk shit? about, I stand on Benny. Put <laughs> <laughs> your ass up, nigga. That nigga he said, said the way you said in your in your in your ass, shut your ass up, nigga. <laughs> they had one episode. It was like he said. I, he said, I always want to go back around grandma house. I guess she lived more in the in the uh, urban. <laughs> yeah. community. He said, you only went there because you cried all the time. Like, all big. You, all you did was I, cry. I want to be from behind these gates. <laughs> get your ass out, baby. But you know what's crazy is you got a lot of youngsters that think like that. They I was don't dating be. a chick. They don't want to be years from back. the suburbs. I was dating a chick years back, right? And the chick was still young and you know, we were both young, you know, so it was kind of like, yeah. you know, back in the day, if you your parents was a pharmacist or owned a pharmacy and mm-hmm. things of that, now, just to say her family was well off where they lived in Fishers, nigga. Gotcha. And, you know, back then, if you lived in Fishers, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, I got some money. Yeah, I got you. So, nigga, this bitch told me one time, like, long story short, mm-hmm. she just wanted to know what it's like to struggle. Oh, wow. So so she what? so she dated you. That is horrible, man. That's fucked up, nah. man. Damn, man. Look, 
Look, we go, we go, we go. I'm gonna cover that later, you dumbass. She, she, she probably still think yeah. that way. You probably do. Wonder how Morris is doing right now. This motherfucker, I used to, she used to get into it. Oh shit! With her mama and shit, and she's a. I said, I used to sit up and be like, why are you acting like this, man? You got your mom and them give you this, give you that. That bitch said, I want to know what it's like to struggle. Mm. All my friends have these exciting lives. And mm. they, I said, that's exciting to know how to struggle? <laughs> I what? said, oh, baby. I said, <laughs> so you trying to say your parents failed you? Uh, and she was trying to find... <laughs> She was trying to find that struggle through you, man. She was trying to be a hood. She was trying yeah. to be a hood chick. That's why she started talking to you. Damn, man. Mm-hmm. I ain't no hood dude. What you she talking about? You was a hood I'm just nigga. a dude been in the hood. Damn. You in the hood now? You in the hood now? Yep. <laughs> That's that hood nigga shit right there, y'all. Right fucking there, man. But yeah, man. He yeah. he he needs to uh Muppet Mouth needs to I don't know. He smacked. Yeah. Period. Throw his ass in the real hood and leave him there. Tip. Yeah. That's what I would say. Yeah, put well, when his ass get locked up, let him stay locked up. Yeah, don't even fuck. Oh, that him. shit y'all talk about. <laughs> Silly boy. This uh, nigga learned his lesson. Uh social media me. Uh all week long, all I've been hearing about the Beyonce resistance uh uh tour and you know, uh, she got a movie, a film that just dropped in theaters, and everybody's been going to it, uh, especially the LAGBTDW and MNOP community, and a lot of females, like everybody has been talking about it. And it's almost like, you know, you're witnessing something special if you really pay attention to it, if your timeline is popping like that, uh, all over mm-hmm. Twitter and everything like it. that. So, um, but they are talking about Beyonce in a good way and slightly in a bad way. And the slightly in a bad way is because uh, she released the pictures of her and Jay Z. Uh, one of them just, you know, kind of chilling. The other was them like inside the uh, theaters. You know, Jay got the popcorn and bees over, you know, they're all laughing, looking at each other and shit. You know, it, it, it looked nice. It looked cute. You know, it was a cute thing. You know what I'm saying? And I, I like seeing that with Hove. He's showing, yeah. he's showing, you know, different sides Maturity. of Maturity. Yeah, like he's Basically. enjoying, he's a fucking billionaire. He don't need to he be the gangster. No, he's, <laughs> he don't need to be that That's guy. the reason why I look at MC Shan oh, God. funny. Fucking like, MC nigga. Shan. No, because it's like, nigga, you 58. You ain't got as much money, but you don't carry yourself like an elder statesman. That's mm-hmm. what I'm saying. So so with these pictures, uh, Beyonce looked a little, uh, a couple of shades lighter than normal. It wasn't lighter shade brown. It almost looked like uh, <sighs> if she was a white girl. I was like, yeah, they say had been since she, her mother came out and said she been, she hasn't been bleaching her skin and shit, and that she hasn't been bleaching her skin. Yeah, and I never thought that. I thought it was more of a makeup, but it was like looking at the pictures, like it 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 went from her face to her neck down her arms. To their fingers. Mm-hmm. It's like, I don't think no one like did that to her whole body. Yeah. So I, I don't know what's, what what happened. You know, I, I really don't. Uh, about, uh, but see, like, and this ain't me trying to put myself in here or none of that, but certain skin products make my skin look lighter. Mm-hmm. To the point where people like, like somebody asked me a couple of times, like, dude, are you bleaching your skin? I said, dude, are you serious? You asked me that for real. I looked that mm-hmm. light for real. Mm-hmm. Like, because I had uh, started drinking this collagen powder. 
and I was using this uh one skin cream for my face, man. And I can say it's kind of brightened it up to the point where I looked real like a couple shades lighter. Like, damn. Mm-hmm. So I, I don't know. It might just be the products people are using. But then again, you know, you know. But but, but I doubt but, she's bleaching her. But stuff. it is. I, I don't believe she's bleaching either. You know, it's, it's Beyonce. Either way, she still looked mm-hmm. good. She still looked mm-hmm. good. I'm, I'm sitting there and I'm like, I'm looking at the picture. And I'm like, I'm trying to picture her as a white woman. I'm like, yo, she would still look good. Yeah. It looked like she had some contacts in and shit too. Well, in the picture I seen, if I'm not mistaken. But she looked good. I thought it was just for, for the picture shoot. That's what I'm. You know I'm why she with. looked good, right? No, Beyonce always look good. Yeah, but she look good because she a Virgo. Uh, moving on, uh, Buster Rhymes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> fuck is you talking about, man? Does Virgo look good, dude? Uh, Shout out to uh, <laughs> Beyonce for having the same birthday as me, <laughs> September fourth. That's why we look good. Sorry, Virgo, stay looking good. Anyway, all the levers can stand up. I don't know too many levers. That's crazy. Like I don't know too many levers. I really don't. That's. that's, that's <laughs> hold on, man. Hold on, hold on. I just seen somebody. Uh, I was just looking at a rapper that was a Libra, but I don't know. Oh, fuck all that. It. I'm talking about I don't know too many Libras like in my life like that I can call oh, up. Yeah. Hey, what up? Libra love. What's happening? Like I don't know uh too many of those. Uh Blueface mom <laughs> yeah. she's talking about releasing yeah. some content on OnlyFans. For what? Uh now you trying to compete with your son and his girls and Go sit your old ass down. I just don't know what's going on. Like, I'm tired of Blueface, his mama, his ratchet, like, toothless girl. Yeah, we need, all we... of this shit is fucking ridiculous, man. Yeah, they've really been in the news. And, and I think that's their way of communicating with one another. Like, if Blueface do something, Krishan got to do something that's going to go viral as well, but it's also a shot at him, and he's going to do something, and vice versa. Now the mom is like, oh, shit, my son popular and shit. Let me jump in this shit. And and she bring her long head. Uh, she looked like the youngest sister uh, that... That the should have been a Braxton, but it was an off child a little bit. Like she looked like she should have been in the Braxton's fan. No, she looked like she was the left out member of SWV. That's what Blueface mom looked like. She should have been in SWV, but she couldn't sing. That's what that is. But she's planning on launching some fucking face, uh, not face, only fans page. On uh, Blueface's birthday, which I don't That's know, I don't know when his fucking birthday is. Uh, she already, <laughs> she already got pictures going around of her with her ass out. Like, where it, where did, where do you be, take time out to become a mother? A real, a real mother, not just a woman who pushed the baby out of her womb. Like when do you become a mother and say, "Damn, this is embarrassing to my son. This is this is embarrassing to me." You know, especially at my age, at fifty years old, I'm still out here on the sexual marketplace. Mm-hmm. Like, like, there's no shame no more, dude. I mean, everything that, is about that's going disgusting, viral. man. Everything is about going viral. It's disgusting. And for her you to be, sit up here for her and to don't be, make no money no other way with your, your, your fame and your son's fame versus putting your ass out 
for, for, for the world to see. For her to be 40. And ain't she married? For her to be 48, 49, 50 years old, she's not bad looking. She's not the best looking. But she she's not, she doesn't look her age, but she's not a, a cute female or anything like that. Um, but yeah, to 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 trying to get momentum from your son, uh, life and his drama that's going on. Yeah, that's kind of low balling for a female. For anybody, at, anybody at that age. Now see, that's what I'm saying. Now see, if someone like her came out and had a sexual harassment charge, I might be sounding like you at that point. I don't believe her. Fuck that bitch. Bitches be lying. I, I'd probably be with you on that one. Because she seemed like the type that would do anything to to get some type of popularity, you know, and, and try to start her own version of the Kardashians. I can see them with a fucking, uh, a fucking TV show. Was she even on their TV show when Blueface and Krishan had a show? I never watched the shit. I just I, seen clips. I don't even think so. Mm. I just seen clips of this shit. Uh but yeah, Blueface, Krishan, Blueface Mommy. Just just stay in 2023. I'll stick with you to 2023. I don't mind talking about y'all if it's something talkable, but after 2023, I don't want to hear shit y'all talking about no more. You know, unless it's something good. Like we said uh, the other day, it's like Will and Jada. I don't want to hear nothing about those two relationship at all. Mm-hmm. I don't want to hear nothing about Krishan and Blueface and how they're doing since they stopped fucking with each other and all that. I don't want to hear none of that shit no more. Nothing. You know, and now with the mom, I mean, heard she was coming out with that shit uh, with the with the OnlyFans, and I haven't heard anything since, so I don't think it's popping like that. And if it is, it's probably a bunch of old niggas popping to her. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, uh, oh, Nardo Wick. Now, it was a fan. Want to take a picture with Nardo or... Uh, sign an autograph i think it was take a picture and mm-hmm. out of nowhere one of nardo's uh security slash friends punched a guy and then the other came and just hit him with a two-piece and and took him out and this kid fell like he was he mm-hmm. was knocked like he really hit his ass you know yeah Nardo came out. He apologized. He said he don't condone and and you know his crew doing things like that. He got in contact with the mom. He he, he called the mom and he was saying if there's anything he can do to help, let him know. And uh, I I don't think he he didn't say anything like she said okay or she said this and that or she reached back out. Like, I didn't hear anything like that, but he definitely made a public apology. Uh, well, it's not public. It was a viral apology. Um, mm-hmm. it's, and, and he didn't, he don't look like, like, when I seen the video, he, he ran over there and was like, yo, 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 stop. Like, he was trying to stop them from doing yeah. what they were doing, so... Out of all this, hopefully he's not the one who has to suffer because the fan already suffered. He suffered enough. Yeah. So I would say, Nardo, if you don't want this guy to suffer, you better make him. You better make him part of the family. You better sign. You better make him sign something. Pay him a little bit, yeah. or you know, like you just said, take this nigga on tour with you. Mm-hmm. That's all you got to do. Let hey, him do roll a with song you. with this nigga. Yeah, let him roll with you. Go on this live because feed. He's probably Make him this, popular. You never know. He's probably an aspiring artist, too. <laughs> yeah, another snow. 
<laughs> I scream it dum it dum it dum it here, and then the bum bum down. Another <laughs> fucking snow. Fuck out of here. Man. Fuck out of here. Or he might be. Uh, what's what's that um, dude who came out with that album years ago? Sleeping the bread out. I don't fucking know. <laughs> uh, this is like around the time when, like mid two thousands, when all the white rappers was coming out. Uh, uh, what else we got going on here? Uh, <laughs> Buster Rhymes. We can, we can. I think we can slowly move on over to uh, the pen and pad preview. Uh, Buster Rhymes and uh, Kevin Gates, A Z. Well, Kevin Gates, his album hasn't dropped this week, but but he is releasing songs on the album. Uh, I, I took a peek at it, but I couldn't. I, I can. Uh, it was only like five songs available. Um, but A Z dropped his album. Mm-hmm. Uh, Truth be told, I did not give that a listen yet, but you know that's going to be the next album we do. So I will give it a, a listen for next week's pen in the pad. Um, Buster Rhymes, Blockbuster, Rawr, rawr, like a dungeon dragon, Blockbuster. Yeah. It's true indeed. That's my nigga, man. Um, Blockbuster, About five man. Five all day. The album, man. How you like it? I like it. You like it? Yeah. Yeah. I, I need some yeah. pen and, I need I like some pen and pad music. I need some pen huh? and pad music right here. There we go. Now, with this joint, with, with Buster Rhymes, I fuck with it. I fuck with mm-hmm. it good, man. It... it it's Buster, man. It's classic Buster. Yeah, he's still competing. You know, I, that's I, what I love. That's what I always loved about Buster. I don't, Anytime you feature him on the track, yeah, remix anything, he's sticking a fork in niggas. Mm-hmm. I, um, I, I do love the album. Uh, I, w- I would. It's a few songs that I like on the joint, man. And I know you're not fully prepared, but, you know, I really wanted to... I like a lot of the songs, but it's like a few that just stood out more. And I like, like, it's one that has, like... There's a few that has a Jamaican vibe to it or a Caribbean vibe to it, which we know Buster, you know, has a Jamaican background. And I'm listening to it, man. I'm like, you know, shoulders just rocking with the with the beat and and, and we know what Buster doing this thing. I'm like, yo, man. I would like if he made an album like this. If he made an album like that and actually put some OG reggae, you know, people, you know, some uh um Bob Molly son, you know, like put a couple of motherfuckers on there and do some features with I would buy that shit, yo. Make some dance it, joints. The beats, the beats would have to be on point for me to do that. Buy a whole Jamaican album with Buster like that, talking I, like that. I think it, beats, it, it wouldn't be hooks, Buster if it wasn't. That shit would about to be hard. Yeah, it, it it wouldn't be Buster if it wasn't. I, I don't know Buster from whack, you know, rapping on lame beats or some shit like that. With Buster's always mm-hmm. a beat you never heard before, or it's it's uh it can't it comes out differently than uh you know with the samples and things like that. He make you like it, and he got the flow to go with it. Uh, yeah. So yeah, man, Buster Rhymes, man, you you keep up the good work, man. He's definitely coming up on the pen and the pad uh, later on this week, y'all. So y'all stay tuned for that. Top five people. Man, man, man. I'm telling you, he's up there. I'm not even going to lie. The first, just the first 
track was just the good, the best introduction to it, to this album too. He was snapping mm. lyrically. Mm-hmm. And that's another thing. That's why I love that Bust Rhymes is still in the game because he always brings lyricism. Yeah, he definitely does. And creativity. Yep. True indeed. As far as creativity in hip hop, Busta Rhymes and is like mm-hmm. pretty much number one to me. Then I would have mm-hmm. to do Missy Elliott. Mm-hmm. Then I would have to say Ludacris. And then Eminem. As far as the animation and the videos and bring it fine to to music, you know what I mean? Yeah, um, if I'm if I was to have a list like that, I would go ODB. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, I would I would go ODB, Missy Elliott, mm-hmm. uh, Buster Rhymes, Red Man. Then I'll go Eminem. Yeah, I, I, I'm sorry, Red Man. I am sorry, Red Man. Nah, man, man, man. But you know. Luda definitely deserves be in, to be in there, um, but I, I just I don't see I don't see Luda and I don't see a couple of the motherfuckers I got on my list if it wasn't for ODB. Like ODB mm. was like the first crazy motherfucker I seen on TV. Fuck you know mm. yeah like like uh uh Buster Rhymes do that y'all 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 but who what the fuck was was dirty yeah. doing? Oh baby I like it. Oh baby I like it. Come on man, who who you heard like that before him? I'm the <laughs> want to sing my favorite song now. I'm just, just give me my money. <laughs> give me my money. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying, man. I, I honestly think he's the first. Rest in peace, ODB. Rest in peace, big dog. He's the first, yo. Before Buster, all that, he's the first, man. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, man. I don't, I don't want to say. As far as hip hop, as far as what do you mean? Yeah, Buster won y'all, y'all, y'all. Back then, that wasn't that, that was before that. He still was crazy with the uh, flow. No, he, like he still was sounding. You could see it coming out when he was in the. Uh, but it didn't come out like uh, ODB, man. ODB um, was straight fucking crazy. Like he was already turned to ten. This nigga ain't even saying words. And like, what the fuck is you talking about? I'm sorry, man. Leaders of the new school, man. You would have to listen to that, man. And no, they would. It, it's it's no. kind of debatable. I get it. He was doing it, but it won't like ODB. That was like ODB was in a that. Come on, man. You can listen to Buster. You can hear it back then too. But who was more popular with it back then? Like you said, you can hear it then, but you didn't hear it the way you heard it when he started. Well, when he went solo. Sure. When that nigga went solo, you didn't hear it like that. Mm-hmm. You know, back back when he was with them, it was rah rah like a dungeon dragon. Rah rah. It was like that. It won't know. It, come on, man. Come on, dude. Stop playing, man. <laughs> Stop it. It just wasn't that, man. You know, and even when when Buster do it, it was more of aggressive back then. Ah, yeah. You know, like it was, it was more like that with dirt. It was, I didn't give a fuck. I'm high. I'm just making noise, nigga. In my mind, it sounds good. Ah, like that, that nigga was actually crazy. He not trying to sound crazy. The nigga was crazy. Shit. So, man, rest in peace to the big dog, man. ODB, man. For real, for real. Uh, what we got coming up, man? Oh. Gotta say, it like a New Yorker, man. Rest in peace to the God. Yeah, man. Uh, uh, Lenny Kravitz. Lenny Kravitz. Uh. He he came out and he basically said 
that uh, the media, black media, you know, award shows like BET and the Source Awards, they don't show love to, uh, you know, him. You know, as far as being a, a, a rock and roll star, you know, uh, I put him in different categories, man. I think he's in, in, in pop. I think he's rock and roll. I think he's, you know, R&B. I think he's a lot, man, of... And that's just how talented he is. He he's in that book with like a Bruno Mars to me. And he can't oh. sing those notes like that, but he can he can go in different John you know genres and just make a hit, make a classic. It might not be as much, it might not be as many, but he can go out there and make a name for himself and 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 you know different genres out there. So. He's definitely a, a icon, an ego. Yeah, uh, he, he he's something that we really need to pay more attention to. And like I said, Lenny, if you drop an album, let me know, cause I want to hear it. You'll definitely be on the pin in the pad. I'm just saying, bro. Uh, I I definitely agree with him. Hmm. You know, um, because when you, even me growing up, I never looked at Lenny Kravitz like, like, um, mm-hmm. like somebody I should be listening to coming up like an R and B and all that. I always looked at him like, like, and, and this is gonna probably sound childish and mature, but you know, this is how I grew up listening to dude. I was like, man, man he, he played white people music. I ain't listening to dude. But when I got older and I had to kind of develop my taste in music a little bit, you know. Yeah, of course, you were you were ignorant back then. You didn't know anything. Yeah, better. I was ignorant. Yeah, yeah, I'll give you that. I was ignorant to the fact mm-hmm. that dude makes good music and all that. My mind wasn't open to all kinds of music. Did mm-hmm. it was really just open to rap. I wasn't even really open to R and B unless I just heard something I really liked. And, and that's why, but, and, and there's a lot of people like that. And that's why I be telling my folks, like, yo, I love music. I don't give a fuck mm-hmm. if it's made for white, Puerto Rican, whatever. I can hear a fucking uh, uh, Pakistan song right about now. And if, if the beat goes right and the song goes with the beat and it sounds good, that's my shit. Siri, what's the name of that fucking mm-hmm. song? <laughs> like, it'll be some shit mm-hmm. like that. I want to hear it. You know, so yeah. shout shout out to Lenny Kravitz, man. Like you, you're definitely an icon, yo. And you you're right. The black media, BET Awards, Source Awards, all these award shows, they should be giving you some type of award, some type of lifetime achievement award because you are Lenny fucking Kravitz. Yeah. So I agree with you a hundred and ten fucking percent. And, and hopefully we're doing our part by talking about this and, and supporting you on this on our uh, Talk Your Talk show, uh, the podcast. And like I said, I'm going to send this to him and, and hopefully he uh, reaches out to us and, and, and we can talk more about it. I would like to talk more about it with him. Uh, yeah, because he's, he's definitely correct, mm-hmm. in my opinion. Because like you, he doesn't get the recognition that he should yeah. get as a black artist. Yeah. Not just a uh, rock and roll artist or just mm-hmm. a black artist, period. hmm And uh, I definitely want to put this out in the universe. So, you know, you never know, man. Maybe maybe it might get to him. Mm-hmm. Maybe maybe this would be the video to get all the, the retweets and make Lenny go, who the, who the fuck is ringing my phone right now? And then he'd look at it and go, what the fuck is... Talk your talk podcast. Let me listen to this shit. And then he listen and go, you know what? I'm going to surprise these brothers. Get me on the show. And then mm-hmm. voila, you know? So shout out Lenny Kravitz, man. I definitely agree with you. If you got any good music or any new music, because I know you got good music, but if you got some shit that you holding back and you ain't released yet, Lenny, give it to us. You know, I'm ready for it. I'm ready. I, I'm in music mode, too. I'm ready for anything right now. I want any type of music right now. I love the Andre 3000 album. 
like I said, I go to sleep to it. I wake up to it. I brush my teeth when that when it's on. I'm taking a shit when it's on. when I'm in my bathroom. I put that motherfucker on on the, on the Apple Pod, the Home Pod, and I let that bitch play. He's just fluting, and I'm taking a peaceful shit. It's a wonderful album. Thank you, Andre. We see that's what they meant. We don't we don't support our black people. There were so many black people. I don't want to hear no goddamn flu. Blah, 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 blah. But no one's thinking about the love. You got to use that album to what it's meant to be used for. Peace. Peace. If you meditate, put that album on. If you feel like you need to calm down, put that album on. I guarantee you think different. You get pissed off and all that. Put that album the fuck on. Next time it, it it gets nice outside and it's early in the morning and the sun is up and the butterflies going and shit. You sit on your back porch. Put that album on. I bet you be like, damn man, I feel peaceful. You take good shits like that. <laughs> I'm just I'm just well, saying that, man. You take good shits with this album. And you sleep well and you wake up feeling like a million bucks. I'm telling you, man, when you wake up to that that Andre 3000, man, it, it makes you feel like you, you know, someone should be handing you your slippers and shit. Well, Mr. Mac, your breakfast is ready. Thank you, Jeffrey. Like I, you know, mm. That's what it does. Make sure the Andre 3000 is playing down in the kitchen. I'll take this out on the patio. Thank you. Looking yeah, at I'm name. kind of feeling like Lil Wayne said earlier about Andre 3000. Oh, like, Lord, he I, switched it up again. Feel, how do you not feel inspired to rap anymore? That's where I'm at with it. But great flute album. Oh, you should have said all that shit that day. You just waiting on somebody popular to say it, nigga. But and, hey, I, I said it. You didn't say it then. You're saying it I now. I said I was feeling it. Yeah, you, you know, left it at that. You know, yeah, you good. I was looking for bars. You it, gave I, it a four. You, need to listen. <laughs> you, need, you still need to listen to it. I said I still gave. I still said I want to hear some bars. But you knew it won't bars in it, so it didn't matter if you want to hear it. Or I not. knew you it. Knew it wasn't I knew any it. bars. But you know, I still was like, you know, hey, yeah, I'd rather hear some bars. I mean, of course, we'd rather hear bars, but once again, is this man showing his talent? I'm, I'm not. He he told motherfuckers no bars. Yeah, he did. No songs. Did. No hooks. He did that. He did. So I erased all that out the way. I didn't sit there and oh, I'd rather hear him rap. I knew it wasn't going to happen. So there's no point of me saying that. I knew it wasn't going. I nah. I said I knew it wasn't going to happen. But no. But I'm you still, also. I but you also said. It. But you also said oh, I'd rather hear his bars. And I said, what's the yeah. point of saying that if you knew it wasn't going to be bars? Like, I'm. I now I'm saying it because the hype of surrounding it. Now it's like, yeah, it's a nice album but I don't look at it like everybody else looks at it like I said I'd rather hear them rap that's what I'm saying I ain't saying it like but that's what everyone you know, is saying everyone rather hear him rap we're all waiting for him to spit some new bars spit out a new album a new outcast of that's course it. of course we rather hear him rap but that's not what he's giving us right now it's and like and either take it, either take it, or, or, or fucking leave it. I took it, and, and I'm I gonna use it to what the fuck I'm gonna use it for, which is to take nice shits, and brush my teeth, and wake up, and wait for Jeffrey to get my slippers, and tell me breakfast is ready. That's what I'm doing. Here you are, sir. That's what I love it. He's sir. Uh... I have some more. <laughs> I have you a great pool palm at the edge of the counter. Like shit. But yeah, man, Lenny Kravitz, uh, 
join us, man. We would love to talk with you. And uh, Andre 3000, keep doing you. To do what you feel. Do what you feel. And I will always support it as long as it's from the heart. See how I did that? Made it a little bit more sentimental. You know what I mean? Uh, so what we got coming up next here? Uh, Hoosiers dumb as criminals? No, it's not Hoosier dumb as criminals. It's urban. Indies urban news is coming up next. That's what it is. See, I'm I'm so in a rush to do this. Hoosiers dumb as criminals. You you got it right? Yeah. Okay, that was a long ass. Yeah, man, I don't like that one. Yeah. yeah. Nigga said that like he was reading it. Yeah. Yup, I do got it. I think I do. <laughs> but now we got urban news for Indiana, Indianapolis. Indie Urban News is where we talked about what's going on in Indiana, man, especially within the urban communities and just communities, you know, in general, to be honest with you. But we mostly focus on the urban communities. Um, speaking of urban communities, urban communities, you know who they need? They need firemen, right? You know, you know how people used to look up to firemen and, oh, I want to be a fireman when I grow up and all that shit. I mean, in my neighborhood, I never said that, but you know how that cliche is, though. Um, how about a fireman getting caught in a fucking, fucking... It was just a fucking stingray, just fucking everyone getting locked up, all because they trying to fuck little 14, 15-year-old girls. Well, children. Our boys. Yeah, I forgot. It, it was children. Um, so in, in the news earlier this week, 21, that's right, 21 arrests was made on child uh solicitation and <laughs> they were trying to meet up with well what they thought they were meeting up with a 15 14 15 year old child and they would meet them at the 300 block of uh ah i forget the damn uh street it was but it, it was it was out there in greenwood Mm-hmm. Or was it Evans? But no, it was Greenwood, I believe. So Greenwood. they they all made these sting runs and started gulping all these people and locking their asses up. And one of those people just so happens to be a fucking fireman. For who you ask? Yeah. For the Indianapolis Fire Department. <laughs> mm. Brother. Indiana has something weird. And this is this this motherfucker, of course, is a white guy. They had like two black guys out of the 21. And one was like African. I couldn't even pronounce his goddamn name. But they had a lot going on, and they had about six or seven Mexicans. Mm-hmm. And, and they had about they got people of all races. I think they got a couple of Middle Easterns in here. They do. I think the oldest was like 65 or some shit, 66, 67. And he looked like mm-hmm. Rick he looked like Rick Flair. Yeah. Oh, so. Woo! They got the firefighter looking like the big show, man. <laughs> this, this is a Carl Devere Wimple. Wimple. 45 of New Palestine. Oh my God. Was arrested for child solicitation, a level four felony. Mm, mm, mm. Wimple currently serves as a firefighter with the Indianapolis Fire Department. There you go, Indianapolis, you motherfuckers. That's uh, just bad, yo. Like, Indiana, like, <laughs> I'm sorry, man. This is like the state, <laughs> like, the people they hire, the people that they choose to. To fight for you and all that shit always end up being the dumbest motherfuckers. <laughs> like how the fuck y'all, y'all perverted hiring, motherfuckers? Y'all hiring perverted motherfuckers and child molesters and 
Like, what are, you, what are y'all doing right now, man? Like, what's really going on with you right now? So, I, I don't know, man. But but back in April, they did another bus, and that was around, what, like 11 people? You yeah, know, so, over a dozen. So, they got, so, so since April of this year, it, it's a total of, like, 32 that they caught. With this same shit that's dealing with some type of child pornography or, you know, uh, you know, just. They actually got this dude's. Like, I'm looking to take mug shots. Mm. Just looking stupid. This one dude just got this smirk on his face, like, oh, well, <laughs> you know, I got a couple million dollars. I'll get out of here. <laughs> this is looking dumb as a bitch. This dude looks like he's confident his lawyer is going to get him out. Mm. Yeah, that ain't happening because they dumbass walked into the... They set the trap for him. Ain't no way they getting out. I don't want to spend a damn second in jail. <laughs> <laughs> I pay you the big bucks. Yeah. Like, what the yeah. fuck? I pay the big bucks. You know, folks got possessions of marijuana. So what y'all gonna do? Get this little girl high, <laughs> little kid high. <laughs> oh, I'm like, then this dude got like a the, the firefighter dude got like a little uh, evil mug on his face. Like, man, I can't believe I just got caught this shit. Right, his yeah. face is red. Now all the guys even talking shit about at work. Mm-hmm. All, all the other white guys he hung out with playing, you know, playing pool with and shit. Now they got to look and go, damn, man. They're about to sit back and be like, damn, I hope they don't tell on me. <laughs> I was hanging with his ass one night. Damn. Remember they got the witch call boy. Remember they got the, what you call him? Planet of the Apes, dude. Yeah. But damn Rudy Joel <laughs> Matut. Matut. Matut Cabrera. <laughs> 21 damn. years old of Indianapolis. There we go. Another one. Another damn, one. Yeah, this dude, dude, like the planet of the age. He was like Michael Jackson's little chubby brother in the face. <laughs> and look at Omar Morales uh, Sambino. 30 of Indianapolis. Arrested for child solicitation. A level five. I'm trying to figure out. Like, did they really tell these kids how old they were? I, I want to know. I, I really want to know how they caught these dudes. In the I, don't, chat. I don't think it matters. I don't think what? it really fucking matter because you're trying to meet all it these if, 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 they, know. if they bring you to the place and you, you pop up there as a rap. They ain't, mm-hmm. they ain't even put it on the TV show. They just locking niggas up. They should have recorded that shit. Shout out, just, to Chris, shout out to Chris Hansen for sparking this whole That's what they should have did. That's what they should have did. They should have recorded and got paid. <laughs> Fuck that. Well, Throw that bitch on, um, on uh, crime TV. <laughs> shit. And then they had this perverted, most perverted criminal. <laughs> We'll pick it up. It goes right next to Hoosier's <laughs> dumbest criminal. It's Hoosier's perverted sad boy, criminals. Sad boy. <laughs> God damn. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, I guess it's about that time. I wonder what's the level between a level four to a level six felony. I gotta look that up. Uh, yeah. Uh, These niggas got level fours. A couple of them got level sixes. Mm-hmm. And they coming from all over the state. These dudes. Do... Yeah. They come Hold on. Up. I'm about to name off some of the places these dudes. Mm-hmm. Salem, Indiana. Mm. Bargersville. Hold up. Indianapolis. Of course, Indianapolis. Mm-hmm. Uh, another one from Bargersville. Mm. Damn, Terre Haute. 
New Palestine. <laughs> wow. This dude's from Parkersburg, West Virginia. Mm-hmm. Getting them good. They didn't draw. This dude drove from Carmel all the way to Fishers. I made mean, a green one. Mm, mm, mm. Or some kitty. Or some kitty cooter. Goddamn kitty cooter. That would be a shame. Uh, IMPD uh, uh, records 17th police shooting following the shooting that happened last night. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know what it is, man. I don't know if the the person was black or white or what, so I'm pretty sure all that shit is going to come out. Well, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's going to come out soon. Mm. So. Well, shout out to the police for doing their job and collecting, catching these perverts. Yeah, that that's the good part on that part, but. I mean, they ain't had to shoot one of them. <laughs> I'm shocked. There's a pervert. <laughs> yeah, that, Everybody. that's a lot of accidentally be getting shot. I don't understand how y'all don't accidentally shoot these motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, just just off a of get back. I'm pretty sure the judge understand. Oh. <laughs> they going through trial. The judge step step to him and go. I want you to know you guys did a very good job. Keep America alive. I don't know what to do without guys like you. You know, I mean, that's just my thoughts on it. But uh, Uh, I guess it's time for the favorite part of the show. The favorite uh, part of the show, ladies and gentlemen. It's time. It's time. Welcome to Hoosiers. Dumbest Criminals. Presented by This Is Mac Network. Oh, yeah. Who's your yes. dumbest criminals? Who we got? Who we got? Make it hot. Who we got? Who we got? Gotta so make we, it hot. We dealing with Christopher Boyd. Oh, Chris Boyd. A passenger riding. Yes. In a vehicle. That police pulled over in Evansville Monday about 2 a.m. And so, basically, he had a gun hidden in his rectum. And he was booked into jail and underwent a body scan and strip search. Mm, mm, mm. And didn't they find, like, some marijuana on him, too? Or coke or something? They found some Percocets Mm. that he said that his auntie gave him, Aunt Trish gave him. And, and, pain and, and probably got it mixed up with some shit. Spine. Didn't you say probably got it mixed up or something? Her, her medication mixed up with his or something? Mm-mm. I, I thought I read not, something that like that. Not yeah. So the suspect was asked if he had anything stuffed in his groin or his buttocks. The report noted, but Boyd stated that he did not. After Boyd was transported to the county jail, he was observed walking with a limp. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Appeared to be clenching his buttocks. <laughs> I walk with he, a limp, got walked. my dick cavity. <laughs> Damn. According to the report, Boyd was subsequently put through a body scanner and a large object was detected in his groin region. A strip search revealed two plastic containing Two plastic bags containing marijuana tucked next to Boyd's scrotum. Mm, mm, mm. Recreational marijuana still remains illegal, of course, in Indiana. Boyd then tensed up and refused to comply and was lowered to the ground. The report said an officer lowered Boyd's pants to remove the item that was in his rectum. Yeah. And I he believe- continued to clench his buttocks. The officer was then able to see that the object Boyd had in his rectum was a handgun and the firearm was subsequently removed. Mm, mm, mm. This nigga. Uh, wasn't like a five inch bird. Had a hose. Oh, it, 
a whole five inch 380 caliber pistol weighs about 12 ounces. Mm. I said it once. I said it once and I'll say it again. He sure does know how to take five in the ass. (laughs) 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 Let's talk about taking one for the team, boy. (laughs) Hey, nigga, put this in your ass, man. Please be honest, baby. Hurry up. That nigga supervisor told him to take. That nigga supervisor told him to take five. He took five for real. (laughs) I'm trying to figure out how you get a whole gun Hmm. in your ass. Wow, that means he 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 tried it before. That nigga probably he he been to jail before, right? Yeah, Yeah, I'm sure he's used to. Boy has a previous criminal history. Mm. Serious violent felon and domestic batterer. Mm. Yeah, he's used to shoving shit up his ass in jail. Uh, that nigga was that nigga was in I the car. Take that charge. That nigga sat on that motherfucker. Could you imagine, dude, if he would be like like we was talking about earlier, if he got slammed around or some shit, this gun that went off in his ass. Mm. Shit would have blew his goddamn he bottom of his, his ass. She would have blew the bottom of his jaw off through his ass. Yeah. I, I don't get it. Yo, Sam, he sammed it in prison. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that was. I'm but, trying to figure out, like, how were you in the car and get pulled over? How was you riding with this gun in your ass already or... When you got pulled over, how do you have time to put this gun in your ass before police get to your window and get you out and arrest you? He probably had it in his ass when he was in the car. That's what I'm saying. It's like, so you packed this gun in your ass already. Mm-hmm. He was prepared. But, yeah. He was like, I'm prepared, I, my nigga. The fuck? I, <laughs> they ain't gonna be... <laughs> They ain't gonna Rodney King me. Shit, they ain't gonna they ain't gonna P Diddy. Uh, they ain't gonna P Diddy me, nigga. <laughs> It'd be so funny if that gun went off in his ass and somebody thought he farted, nigga. Nah, they wouldn't have knew he farted when his ass was laid out on the goddamn ground dead. Wow, <laughs> you motherfucker! Uh, you mother! You mother! Jake, you shot me in the ass. Jake. You shot me in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mother! Uh, you mother! You shot me in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I think I need to make that one of my sound pads right there, man. Hey, man, you know we find ass shots. Um, I mean, he never got shot, but yeah. <laughs> he def- if he would have got shot, that would have been his last ass shot. No Nicki yeah. Minaj is for you there, sir. No little he camera ass shot. Shots. On his ass, he got shot in his ass. Mm. That ain't the first time if you're used right. to putting five inch barrels up his ass. He's thirty two, so I mean, uh, I mean, still, yeah. my nigga. Like I, I said, I went to jail. I'd have took that whole charge. Like I said, I, I would have put my gloves on because because they got them on the ground and they tussled a little bit and they they stripped them down and pulled that damn gun out. I told you I would have <laughs> grabbed that bitch with my gloves on and put that bitch right in his nose. This what you hiding in your ass, my nigga? With the barrel, you just, know me do this, nigga. I'm gonna have a barrel right in his goddamn nostril. This would smell that. That's you. That's you right there, nigga. That's you. All you smell is metal and shit. That's you right there, nigga. I could I couldn't help if I was a police officer, but just to sit here and crack up the yeah. whole fucking time you was in there. I will fuck with you the whole time. I put his ass in cuffs and <laughs> leave that gun right there at his nose. I sit it right there. Yeah. Every time I bought that nigga's tray of food or some shit, like, hey man, now look, I want that sport back. Mm, mm, we don't want to have to come here dig this out your ass, man. <laughs> <laughs> Brother, nigga, fuck you. Man. Why you like to hide whole guns in your shit? <laughs> Do that about everything. 
Man, where the chair went? Man, don't tell me you put that chair up your ass, man. <laughs> <laughs> Call hallway assistance. So, come get it. Call hallway assistance. In need of a strip search. Motherfucker. Well, you know what? shout out to Christopher Boyd, man. Christopher Boyd. Christopher Boyd Jr. You are one hell of a fucking Hoosier there, buddy. You took uh, one from my the ass team. Hoosier. You took one. You black some bitch. Is he black? I think he's black. Ain't he black? Yeah, he's black. Damn. Damn, yeah. homie. In high school, you was the man, homie. What the <laughs> fuck happened to you? <laughs> Can you imagine yeah. going you to imagine school with a nigga? Your family that? Can you imagine going to school with a nigga that was cool as a bitch and then you hear this on the news? They pulled a what out of his ass? The fuck he doing? Oh, Stephen? Nah, bro. Stephen show. Imagine that's your brother or some shit. You can't hit the blunt no more, dude. No, can't hit the blunt because he had a gun in his ass. You put a whole <laughs> motherfucking arsenal in your ass. I don't know what you doing. And you let that cop stick the barrel in your goddamn nostril, nigga. I heard about that shit. They said Officer Mack had that bitch to your nostril saying, this is you right here. That's all you with your stinking ass. It's all you, boy. With your stinking ass. If you want us, you get about it with your stinking ass. But yeah, man, shout out Christopher Boyd. Hope you have a nice, long, pistol, shitty time in prison or jail or whatever they're going to do with your ass, man. Because you, my friend, Mm. just made Hoosiers dumb as criminals. Hope you like it there, buddy. I hope you fucking like it. Good job there, Terry, man. He said there, you sounded professional there, sir. You really did rock it, man. You really did rock I that, try. man. I said, listen to him over there. Sounding like, uh, got there. What's the guy from, uh, 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 shit, uh, not what was it? strictly business. You remember that movie? Strictly mm, business. Wayne and Tisdale. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, man, Wayne and Tisdale. You got my basic memory. <laughs> I would love to see that. Oh, who was in that movie? Was that Tommy Davidson? Yeah, Tommy Davidson. Yeah, that was it. it. Yeah, a um, couple of other people was in it. But yeah, man, uh, that was Who's Your Damaged Criminals for the week, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, let's see who's going to get dumber next fucking week. This is this is Who's Your State, so it always fucking happens. So you can fucking bet on that. Yeah. Oh, shit. So what we got coming up next? Uh, oh, we got Indy's Fun Fact. Indy's Fun mm-hmm. Fact coming up, and y'all know what that mean. That mean it's about time to go. It's about that time. Indy's Fun Fact coming up. Hey, hey, hey. Don't, don't you play. Uh, uh, uh. With the uh, 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 uh. With the uh, uh. That was my uh, coming to America. I remember the girl like, Ficky, Ficky, Ficky. <laughs> when they was rapping to him when he was uh, going out looking for dates and shit. And they had the two twins and shit down there rapping. You don't remember that part? Tomorrow, come to America. He's like, Yeah. Are the, are the guys want to fill my breasts? <laughs> but remember, it was one girl with a Ficky, 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 I said, what the fuck is going on? All right, so uh, in this fun fact of the night, uh, so let me, let me turn it, let me turn the background down a little bit. So, uh, the city's beloved Slippery Noodle Inn was a stop on the Underground Railroad. It served as a way station during the Civil War with enslaved people hiding out in the building 
before catching the northbound train nearby. Not only that, but it was also a watering hole during the probation era. Plus a mobster hangout. Now, I'm I'm not from Indiana, so I didn't know none of that shit. And I, I remember you said you knew about the mobster hangout part. Yeah. But the rest of that, like, that's like mm-hmm. some, we, there's a lot of history here, man. Bad and good, but there's a lot of history here mm-hmm. in Indiana, man. I did not know yeah. that. So, everybody we here. We the crossroads of America. That's right. That's right. It damn sure is. And they help a lot of our, our, you know, great great grandfathers out and shit, or great 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 grandfathers helped a lot of us out, you know, old cousins and all that shit. So, shout out to those who was helping everybody over there by the underground railroad and all that good shit. This slippery noodle in. Thank you so much. Yeah. For being a stop on yeah. the Underground Railroad. That's it for Indy's mm-hmm. Fun Fact. <laughs> that is fucking it for Indy's Fun Fact. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, look like we're toward the end of the fucking show. And that's what everyone likes to hear. Or, or does it, you know, because I know some people might miss us or whatnot. But uh, just um. as a... As a, as a small recap, uh, Nardo Wick, man, do what you gotta do, kiss a little ass, but make sure that boy is well taken care of. Uh, Lenny Kravitz, we support you. That's why we're we doing what we do right back. now. So keep doing your thing and please reach out to us if you want to talk. Because we yes. want to talk. I would love to have Lenny on here. Uh, Jonathan Majors, man. My opinion, you're a good guy. Hopefully this this you all Yeah, hopefully all this is just, you know, some some misunderstanding, some bullshit or something like that's that. That's just that's just her trying to ruin your career. I'm not gonna go that far if it's really I'm true. I'm gonna go that far. Yeah. I'm gonna put it out there. If it's you're really true, it if it's really true, then you know yeah. it's not true. I mean, I hope not. Uh Jamie Foxx. Hey, same shit here. <laughs> it's not true, Jamie. Of course, uh, uh, Ike Turner. Yeah, same here. What you think about that? Uh, <laughs> it ain't true, Ike Turner. It ain't it true. Ain't true. God damn. Uh, Blueface, mom, sit your old ass down. <laughs> yeah, grow up, bitch. <laughs> you keep your ass in 2023 too. I, mm-hmm. You better not step the fuck out. You stay your mm-hmm. ass right here. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> shit. Nobody want to hear from you no more. Right. Uh, no more. <laughs> no damn mouth. Uh, T.I. And, 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 and Muppet Mouth. I'm tired of uh, Muppet Mouth. I'm tired of my... I'm, I'm really willing mm-hmm. to leave him in 2023 as well. I really don't care too T. much. T.I., please. Beat your son ass. Beat his ass to the bleed. And then beat it again to the belt bleed. Uh, I still think it's it, it's just something for the show. Um, I, I don't think it was real at all. I, I really think he's doing it for the clout. And it went viral, so he definitely got what he wanted out of it. And now they have an album. Not an album, a song about the drop. With uh, T.I. and Son. Uh, uh, got their fish lips. That's what it's about to be. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. I think it's a hoax. Yeah. I think they played us the whole time. Everybody's doing the Will and Jada shit right now. I think all this shit is a hoax. Pretty much. Yeah, uh... Buster Rhymes, keep doing your thing. AZ, we about to hear you out. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I think that's about it. Beyonce, 
You look beautiful no matter what. I'll leave it at that. So, uh, that's it for me, man. It's your boy, Keon Mac, a.k.a. This is Mac. This has been another episode of Talk Your Talk Podcast, and this is episode 11. Thank you all for listening and for tripping with our crazy asses. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully we opened your eyes to some things. Hopefully we made you get pissed off and turn it off, but then turn it right back on because you kind of want to see what we're talking about. Uh, it's your boy Terry over there, man. Terry, anything you got to say before we get out this bitch? Everybody be safe. Bundle up out there, man. Watch out for this COVID food, viral shit going around. Watch out for it. Take care it's out there. Yeah, it's lurking out there. So, y'all be cool. We out this bitch, man. Take care. Dude. Love y'all. Bye-bye. Oh, make sure y'all join us on Talk Your Talk on Facebook. Uh, you can join us on This Is Matt Network on YouTube. You can join us at This Is Mac Network on Twitter. You can join us at This Is Mac uh, Presents. That's our email. This Is Mac Presents at iCloud. So you can hit us up there if you got any type of requests or, you know, you want to contact us about certain things. We open to all that good shit. So hit us up, mm-hmm. man. Y'all be good. Love easy because. Sometimes it's easy to love. That didn't sound cool. Mm-hmm. I don't know. No. I'm sleepy. Yeah. Take All care. Right. <laughs> I'm out. Be cooler.